In this video, they're asking us, what is the greatest common factor, or GCF, of these two numbers, 8 and 16? Now, before we rush ahead and talk about our technique of doing this, there are so many ways to find the greatest common factor, and I've tried to compile some videos that cover those different methods. I mean, there's just so much out there. But really, I think all we have to do, especially for an example like this, is understand what this means, and then we don't need to memorize any rule or, or cool formula. All we can do is just kind of plug through and think about what this means. So what does this mean anyway? Well, factors are numbers that multiply to get you something. So for example, let's list out the factors of 16. And this is, I know this is not very advanced, but I like to list out factors. And the way I do it is by uh, what I call pairing the opposites or looking at the rainbow. rainbow. For example, one times 16, right? There's one combo right there. Give it a color strip right there. And then we've got, well, 2, right, times 8. Okay, then I keep forming my little rainbow here. And then what? Well, then next we have 4, let's use a different color, 4 times 4. And you can see it forms a little rainbow here. But I like to work out from the 1, the, the, the number itself, and 1 as a factor, and then build up until I enclose all the factors of 16. And I can do the same thing for 8, right? You can think of 8 as 1 times 8. Any number can be thought of as 1 times that number, right? So it forms a little rainbow there. And then, of course, we can keep going, right? We have 2 times 4. And then, of course, we're done because 3 doesn't go into 8. So in this way, we can quickly list out the factors. Now, these are factors because they multiply to get 8. And factors and multiples are kind of reverses of each other. For example, 8 is a multiple of any of these factors. And a multiple means take a number like 2, and if you multiply it by something to get this number 8, then 8 is a multiple of 2. So it goes back both ways, right? 8 is a multiple of 2, right? Because you can multiply 2 by 4 to get 8, and that means that 2 is a factor of 8. Why? Because, well... To get 8, I can take 2 times 4 and get 8. So the factors and multiples are easy to confuse because they're so closely related. But here, by listing out the factors, um, I like this method because it's just so intuitive, right? The greatest common factor means the number that these, the greatest factor that these two numbers have in common. So you can just look. I mean, 8 and 16 are not in common um, here, but 8 and 8 are right here, right? They both have 8 for a factor which means that 8 is their greatest common factor, right? There's no other factor that's larger in each number that they both have because it has to be in common, it has to be in both. So when you're encountering greatest common factors, I encourage you to explore all the fun methods that are out there, but also just to rely on your intuition. Take these problems slow and think about it, and you'll find your way through it. All right, thanks.